Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So I have finally officially finished all of my A-level exams um, so I do have quite a lot of things I do need to sort out today. Honestly I just feel like so much stress has just been taken off of my shoulders like all of the anxiety I felt I just feel really relaxed at the moment so I'm hoping that getting rid of everything for school today is going to help with that. I know that some of you may not find this the most interesting video in the world but for me it's just a very important milestone that I have reached so I feel like it is something that I want to have a memory of forever because like this sums up so many years of my life that I've like dedicated to this school and to learning so I'm very happy that it's finally over. I'm going to show you how much stuff I have. Oh! So I just realised how much stuff I actually have to go through and this is definitely going to take a while because I have to go through all of the revision guides that I borrowed from the school and I have to go and take them to the school later so I'll take you guys with me but it's going to take a while to have to sort them all out first. So not only do I have just my normal school bag full of stuff, I have this whole bag full of stuff. Oh, I have two drawers full of stuff, I would show you but it's a mess on that side of the room right now. And then above my wardrobe, I have four big boxes at the top, which is full of more stuff like folders, books, sheets, notes. So it's definitely going to take a while because I have a few things under my bed as well. <laughs> so it's definitely going to take a while. But the first thing that I do need to sort out is the revision guys I need to take back to the school because it's already like past 12 o'clock and the school finishes in three hours. So I need to make sure I have enough time to go through all of the revision guides that I need to take back because I have to fill out some whole sheet to give back to the school to make sure that I did give it back otherwise we don't get our deposit back so <sighs> it's gonna take a while but it's worth it so the first exciting thing that you guys get to watch me do is try and get those huge boxes down from the top of my wardrobe now I'm gonna be honest with you they are very very heavy and I am not the strongest of people in the world so every time I usually do bring it down I usually hurt myself quite badly but it's not as difficult as putting them back up so luckily we're not putting them back up because we're getting rid of everything so you guys just get to watch me struggle for a minute but it's fine I'm sure some of you haters would like that not mentioning any names but if you know you know <sighs> this is brilliant things I can reach but it's too heavy so I end up hurting myself see oh so I'm gonna use my chair. This is really stressful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that was one. Last we got. Oh, this one isn't that heavy. But this is what we're dealing with today, and this is just what's in here. All the folders are probably gonna go in the loft. I have so many like books for my subjects that I don't actually know which ones I got from the school and which ones I bought myself. So these are all the ones I have to take in with me today. Um, I think that none of them are mine. Do I know for sure? Absolutely not. So I just wanted to fill in that sheet and it took literally forever because the printer was being annoying. And then I had to write down literally the name of every single book that I took out. And I've got to go to the school and go to all of my teachers to get them all to sign it to prove that I took them back. So that's why I'm going now because that's probably going to take an hour in itself. Mm -hmm. Right. Now I'm ready to go. I have to take my lanyard with me just in case I have to sign in with that. But it's going to take a while. Guys, I'm honestly so scared right now. I really feel like this bag is just gonna. Oh my god, that spot is huge. No, it's fine, just ignore it. But I honestly feel like this bag is going to fall off of my shoulder. It's breaking my shoulder for a start, but it feels like it's just gonna snap. And not only that, but I feel like I look like an absolute idiot. Oh, good lord. So I just made it, and you know it's really weird. It feels illegal to be here right now. Like, I feel like I'm not supposed to be in here. Um. Okay, so as I was saying, I finally managed to get everything signed. It took a lot longer than I was hoping for because one of the teachers isn't in school today. Um, that's fine, she's just going to sign on her own. 
because as long as I gave it in now it's fine but I also managed to speak to a lot of just my normal teachers so it was nice to just have a nice chat with them but it took a long time but as for now guys I am completely finished I basically have no reason now to go back to the school because my letter is signed like the form my sixth form form is signed and gone like it's over now like I've finished the only thing I would have to go back for now is results day and I'm going to be on holiday so I really have no reason to go back right now but it was really nice going back just to be able to speak to everyone I bumped into a lot of the students that I actually know as well and that I've like worked on projects with for media and stuff or just some of them that I know like personally from outside of school so someone coming this is all good I'm just gonna walk this way for a minute because I'm too embarrassed to film with one person walking past if there was a lot of people I wouldn't care like when I mean I had to go to London to film a music video I was literally like miming it madly in the center of London in front of like five million people it felt like it was embarrassing but it was fun so now I'm just walking down the field so I can like finish this conversation <laughs> But yeah, as I was saying, it was really nice for like the kids to stop and talk to me because like it just makes me feel like I've made a mark at the school, if you get what I mean. Okay, I think the lady's gone now. She just had her dog. There's no problem with that. It's just like, I'm too embarrassed to film by myself just talking to my camera like an idiot. Oh, she's coming again. Okay, that's funny. I did actually know the lady because <laughs> I think she's one of my neighbours. So that definitely would have been very embarrassing if she had walked past me and seen me recording myself. The thing is like... What's going on with my hair? It's fine. I still feel like it hasn't hit me yet that like school is over. I've been at the school for such a long time, like since year seven, all the way till year 13. So that's a very long time. That's like so many years to be out of school. Like, and although school was full of stress, anxiety, arguments with like friends, like so much heavy weight came with being at school but it was also like it was the place that I knew would always be there if you know what I mean like I knew that I would go in and all the teachers would still be there all the people will still be there my friends will still be there so it was like a safe place to go knowing that it was all the same so now that I have like no reason to go back at the moment I think it's just really upsetting Oh my god, Letitia and her boyfriend just went past with their car. I didn't see me filming. And look, I have ink literally all over my hand. That was from fixing my printer earlier. But now I have to go home and deal with the stress of getting rid of all of my school stuff. But I didn't think it would make me this sad. I thought I'd be so happy to finally get rid of everything that like caused me so much stress in my life. But it's like it's the end of an era, if you understand what I mean. So, Okay, sorry, so... That conversation was kind of ended just then. My mum did call me to ask where I am because I'm taking so long to get home and I was just explaining to her I'm trying to film a video and everything just keeps on going wrong. But now I actually am headed home so I'll be there in literally like two minutes. I really do hope that I will possibly ever get the opportunity again to like go back and work with the school, even like on projects, for example, like media work. Because I love that school, like, and I have so many amazing memories there. So to go back, like, it would be really nice, even if it wasn't for a long time. Like, I feel like I owe the school for that. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I just got home. So I'm going to head inside and get some food because I haven't actually eaten yet. And it's past nearly two o'clock. Um, so I'm going to do that and then go through all of the rest of the notes. Because believe me, there's plenty. So just with my cute little lunch, it took ages and this bun is literally rock hard, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay guys, so I just finished. I'm back in my room. I'm going to start going through all of my stuff and separating it into English, sociology and media. Um, so I'm interested to actually see how huge these piles get just for sociology, because sociology is definitely the most content. What I'll do is I know that's probably very boring for you guys to watch so I'm just going to do it really quickly just to show you the end result to see how much there is for each subject. Okay so I think I finally managed to actually finish so let's see our progress. 
So on the bed is now just all of the empty folders and everything. And I'm going to keep all of these because I'll most likely reuse them for something else. And I've got like some empty books and stuff that I never got to use. This is just like some extra paper and stuff that I found. So I'm going to go and put it downstairs so that Indiana can just use it for something else. The only thing I did want to say was any assessments I took. So these are just all of the exams that I did so that I can keep them. And then I have all of these. Oh my god, there's so many of them and I'm going to have to find a place to put them all. And then finally, these are all the books I had to buy for English. And I've got nothing to do with them now, so I don't know where they're going to go. Now I'm going to show you one by one the workload for the subjects. So this is all my notes for sociology. Can't even pick it up, it's so heavy. And then this is my notes for media. There's definitely not much there, but there's more than it seems. And then these are my notes for English. Again, there is a lot more there than it looks. Um, there was quite a lot of content to go over for this subject, but sociology was definitely the most. So now I don't actually know what to do with any of it. Like I think all of the extra stationary stuff and folders I'm going to put back at the top of my wardrobe. But now I don't actually know what to do with the empty drawers at the end of my bed. I really have no idea. And I don't know how I feel about actually throwing all of this away. Okay guys, so I managed to fit all of the folders and the empty stuff into the drawers at the end of my bed. Um, one of them is completely empty though, so I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there just yet. As for the paper, I'm just going to throw it all in the bin, probably, and not do anything else really with it. <laughs> no, it's so bad. I think it's so good. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the end of today's video. So do you want to end it for us? So don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the <laughs> notification bell button and then you'll get notified when we post the next video. video. Yeah. Alright, thanks guys. See you in the next one. Bye! Bye.